echinacea. Yes. Do you have echinacea out your way? Oh, yes. Yeah, lots? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Actually, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to grow. I'm in hardiness. I'm in hardiness zone 5B. I'm not sure where. What zone are you in up in Canada? Uh, we're. I think we're a zone. I know it's well, a little I different. It's cold. Five is cold, isn't it? Yeah, but four is colder. <laughs> four, okay. four. Four and five. I think we're four and five. Okay. Yeah. I forget which way it went. Anyway. I love echinacea. Of course, I use a lot of echinacea. Use it for coughs and colds. And of course, there's a lot of, of debate out there. They say, oh, well, echinacea doesn't work. Hmm. Well, I think they think that echinacea is going to cure a cold or cure something. It's not going to cure it. It lessens the severity of the cold. That's what it does. And so it has, it really does have wonderful cold properties. And, and people that do take it every year, swear by it. And it, what you do is you take it before you get the cold. So if you take echinacea, um, say start taking maybe one week in, the, in, the, in September, October, mm -hmm. before the cold season hits, then your immune system is boosted and then you won't get, you might get a cold, but you won't get it as cold, as bad. But the flowers are lovely and mm -hmm. They're wonderful in the garden because the monarch butterflies love them. And when they, in the fall, they're just loaded with all these wonderful monarch, monarch butterflies. Do you get them in Ohio? Oh, the butterflies? the butterflies? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Monarch. yeah. The, mo the monarchs are wonderful this year. Yeah. Are they? I haven't yeah. seen them here yet. So they must be a little bit late. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen them. And you can also um, make a tea with the, with the flowers as well. You can dry them and make a tea. And if you want to take, the root is, um, the root is what a lot of people use more, is just is the root. But the flower has more of the shikoric acid in it, which is what I like. It's that, the, the tingling feeling that you get when you take, when you take echinacea. And that comes more from the flower. So I prefer using the flower. I'll mix the flower and the root. When I make my, I have a product I call Winter's Friend in the Nova Scotia Organic line, and it's echinacea, zinc, and acerola, which is vitamin C from the acerola berry. And it's wonderful. And I have another product I make, which is an echinacea propolis spray, and the children love it because it has it's, it's echinacea. I extract the echinacea, and then I resuspend it and take the water all off and it's sort of a bit gooey and then I resuspend it in glycerin so it's sweet and you children love it so you just ask, they open your mouth and take a little shot and it actually gives them a very good little immune boosting for the colds coming when they head to school because you know when they go to school they'll catch everything going yeah. <laughs> and they don't want to take pills no child likes to take pills no. so I always make a little spray so if you know, somebody was felt like doing it, they could actually take the echinacea and uh, chop it up, uh, soak it in a little bit of alcohol for a while. That would extract the properties. Then they could put, find, get some glycerin and mix it with it and try making their own little tincture, echinacea tincture. Yeah. So we have um, a garden friend on right now in the chat role here, in, in uh, Giovanna. Uh, she's down in the Washington, D.C. area. And uh, she was wondering, um, do you recommend starting the echinacea from seed in the fall? I'll tell you, I, you have, when echinacea is a funny plant, the plant, the seed has to stratify. So you have to put, if you have some seed, Put it in a garden where you know where it is, and in a box, and let it let the snow cover it, and then you start it in the spring. Very cool. Because it has to, it has to have that cold before it grows, and then grow it. You know, keep it in a little area. Yeah. That's but it great. won't grow. It won't grow in the house in a warm spot over the winter. That's not the way to start it. Or you can buy buy 